Blue to Bread Co-op is an artisan, bakery and workers' co-op. A workers' co-op is a democratic organisation owned by its workers. We're all pretty much in charge of what we do here and have a say in what goes on. We make artisan, slow fermented breads, predominantly sourdoughs. We take a lot of time and a lot of care over the bread that we make and I think that shows. You can't really go back to the white sliced bread after you've been eating this for a while. It's kind of a 24 hour business. The delivery driver arrives about 4.30 and then they'll hit the road about 6 o'clock. Admin staff come in about 9.30. First baker will start at midday. That'll go on through into the night. They'll finish up early hours in the morning and then it'll start again. Well, the person that I set the co-op up with, Zig, pretty much the first time that I met him, we started talking about setting something up. It was a no-brainer as soon as we started this. It was like, it just has to be a co-op. Baking's really great work, but all the other parts of being in the business that aren't baking, all those are more rewarding for this being a co-op. It's more of a sense of a community as opposed to a company. You're working hard, but you're all working as hard as each other. So much in society we're bombarded with a competitive approach, and it's about reimagining that and reworking it and doing things that kind of on the surface level perhaps don't look that different, i.e. we're making and selling artisan breads, which is what a lot of different bakeries across the country are doing, but behind the scenes we're approaching things in quite a different way. Imagine having a boss. I mean, that's an awful idea. I've come from kitchen work where it's very much part of hierarchy and then I came here and all of a sudden I've got this wonderful unity and people that are genuinely concerned and working towards your well-being. And I eat so much toast. <laughs> We're nearly five years in now. We have a background with lots of people who are skilled in baking, but we didn't have very many people who were skilled in running the business. We applied to The Hive to support us with some work with expansion planning and looking at our financial systems and try and improve some of the financial management within the co-op. We are facing big choices at the moment about borrowing and investment in new equipment and this kind of thing, so it was really, really timely. It's really helping us move to a bit of a new phase for the business. The one thing that kind of blows me away sometimes when I think about it is that there was nothing there to start with. It was a chance encounter and it was a conversation and so many years later you have generated from absolutely nothing livelihoods for 16 people, a product that we're all proud of and that didn't exist in 2012. I never thought I'd own my own business, let alone be involved in a co-op. It's eminently possible if you really are motivated. I just love the job. I love this place. I think it should be more cooperatives because I don't know anyone else that speaks as highly about their job as, as I do, you know? Yeah. <laughs>